think it's the next one to the right. I'm just going to follow it around down here to the left when you get We're on our way to meet a possible witness. Less than a mile away from Diane's house lives a woman named Jamie. The incident took place in her childhood home. Beware of dog, I just saw someone yeah. in the back. Hey, is your mom home? Yeah. Can we talk to her? Hello. Hey, Jamie, I'm Jan, and, and, and this is Lisa. Hi. Hi. Might you remember an incident with AJ and a couple of the little boys and some very young girls? There was a boy named Travis who was accused of inappropriately touching a little girl. Not that I can remember. Were you ever questioned by the police about an incident in the neighborhood? No. You never, ever were? No. The incident uh, report states that it happened at your house. Are you serious? Uh huh. If it happened at my house, that is freaking, like, I probably would have remembered it if it would have happened. It's been nearly 17 years, a long time to remember a single event. I hope a photograph may jog her memory. Real quick, I have a picture of Travis when he was in high school. I do remember him. I still don't remember anything about him, but I remember his face. Oh, OK. Yeah. Jamie was only 12 years old at the time. Maybe her mother will have a clear memory of that day. Did police officers ever come to your house and ask you about uh, a 16-year-old or 17-year-old boy inappropriately touching a, a child in your house? According to the report, they said they talked to the parents and the adults and all, all of the, the children. All the parents and the adults oh, and the no, children. They didn't because I would have remembered that. No, 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 no. Like that is. Travis was accused of a very serious offense. Yet, according to Jamie's mother, the police never visited the scene of the crime. You would think that the owner of the house would at least be questioned by the police. Yes, you would think they would go in and have talked to her, and they would have talked to all the kids that were there. Why did the state decide to prosecute Travis? Was it based solely on the victim's accusation? Perhaps the answer lies with the district attorney who prosecuted the case and recommended the maximum sentence of 20 years. He declined our request for an on-camera interview but I'm hoping that he'll answer a few questions on the phone. Yes, I'm calling uh, to speak to Mr. Bradley, please. I, I had a couple questions to ask of you. Uh, I know you talked to my producer last week about Travis Iosu. Uh, he says that he... That, that I asked the district attorney about, about the evidence they had against Travis. It just seems strange to me that the police officers wouldn't speak to the adults who lived in that house. But he declined to discuss the details of the case. However, he did bring up an important point. So I just got off the phone with the district attorney who said the fact is that he pleaded guilty to this and we were offering them the opportunity to go before a jury and he refused it. I mean, he did plead guilty, so what do you do? Why did Travis plead guilty? Over 90% of felony cases in the United States are resolved through a plea bargain. I need to understand the circumstances behind Travis's decision. 